That's my girl right there. This video is brought to you by The Officer Tatum Store. The Officer Tatum Store. Get the merch link in the description section. Also, I got new merch on the store. Put in discount code Tatum IG to get 20% off. Or you can put in Go Brandon to get 20% off. It depends on which one you want to use. And shout out to my wife, man. My wife came up with a store. She got these cool hats. She argued that her store is better than mine. I don't know. Y'all can go to her store, SoKoreanStore.com. SoKoreanStore.com. I'll put the link in the description section. Like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get notifications anytime I go live and make a video. Y'all know what to do. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen in late ties, I love to see strong conservative women out here wrecking it. Let me just say this. This is the difference between liberal women and, and conservative women. Conservative women go so much harder than liberal women. Conservative women are so much more powerful, stronger, more confident. I would argue better looking. Conservative women are what's up. I ain't gonna lie. Lisa Booth, one of my favorites. Uh, she she does a tremendous job on Fox. She's probably one of my favorite people on Fox. She does an incredible job articulating herself, being clean, straightforward, to the point, killing it. But I want y'all to hear this because I feel like this is, and I hope they don't ban me, I'm not endorsing exactly what she's saying. I'm just passing on information and reviewing uh, what was said on television. Um, so she spoke about and exposed what all of us is thinking. And I don't want to say the words, but what all of us are thinking. Just listen to what she got to say. Lisa, roll the film. I mentioned this last night on Dan Bun Gino show. I've not had COVID to my knowledge, yet we see so many high profile people who are vaccinated who have gotten COVID. So how many people did those individuals spread COVID to? Are they dangerous? Should they be shamed? Should they be denied medical care because of that? We, it's so unserious. It's so anti-science. We've gotten to a place where there's no common sense allowed to exist here anymore. And we know it's not about public health. This White House wants to vaccinate 28 million children ages 5 to 11 who have an almost 100 percent survival rate against COVID. And if it was about public health, why would anything other than the vaccine vaccine be maligned? Why is ivermectin maligned? Why are monoclonal antibodies maligned? They were when DeSantis first start, uh, started pushing them. If it was about public health, exactly. wouldn't we want an all of the above approach? Wouldn't it be anything that could potentially save lives? Why is it only the vaccine or else? Boom. I think those are great questions. Not accusations. Some facts there, but those are great questions. These questions need to be asked of P individuals. Why isn't it an all hands on deck approach? Why not? Why is everything else excluded except this one thing? That's not 100%. And then why are they trying to force it? You know, we all, we all know this. This is the, the questions are why. And, and people have a right to question these things. Not saying that you don't believe it's legitimate and you want to be a conspiracy theory. But there are some questions here. There are some questions. Like, for instance, I can't go to Canada right now without being vaccinated. Think about this. This is the problem. But if I went to the airport and got a negative test and I was negative, I still couldn't go because I wasn't vaccinated. Which one makes more sense, being vaccinated or actually not having COVID? Because if you have the vaccination, you can still have it. You can still spread it. It may have mitigated the chance and opportunity for you to do it, but you can still do it. If you test negative, we, would, we should argue that the tests are, are, are pretty accurate. If you test ne negative, then it's a 100% chance you don't have it. So if the, the fear factor and the, the, the security measure is to make sure you don't have it in your system so you don't pass it to somebody else. It makes more sense to test you and make sure you don't have it instead of saying, oh, you took this, you can still have it and spread it, but you took this so you're good. It, it, it doesn't make sense to me. It shouldn't make sense to anybody. I mean, it just doesn't make sense. And I will say this till I'm green in the face. I think a lot more people, uh, uh, there will be more people who would take the vaccination if they had not been pushing it and being so crazy and radical about it, they are creating division, which makes people, they, they're not thinking about the vaccine. Now they're thinking about freedom. You should just be allow, allowing people to ha have freedom and to observe their freedom and give them an informed choice. I, I would argue that 60% of people who are hesitant to take the vaccine would take it if they would have just done that. You don't need to force it. You don't need to mandate it. You don't need to have half of the police department quitting and, and, and a third of the military or whatever the numbers are. You don't need people to be quitting and feel alienated and pitting people against each other because the focus is now going to be on my freedom, 
the way I feel and pitting me against the, the next person and acting like I'm less than, like I don't love my country, like I don't love my job, like I have been fighting through COVID. Now they focus on that and they ain't focus on even the vaccination in general. Now, you, now they don't want to hear nothing about this because this has caused them to feel alienated. This has caused them to feel a certain, some type of way. This has caused them to lose their job. They don't want nothing to do with this, no matter what it can do for you, because it has caused more problems, perceivably, to some then it has caused solutions. But I don't that's what makes people so leery about it, is because why would they use that approach when we we would we would assume the people who are pushing it are educated individuals and no psychology? Wouldn't you have a psychologist on the team to say, how can we psychologically push this in the most affordable, most effective way possible? And that would just be informing the public and incentivizing people who do it. Don't decentivize somebody for not doing it. Just incentivize those who do it. And don't alienate people. Give them a freedom of choice. Bombard them with facts and information. The problem is they don't have facts and information. They don't have facts and information. They don't know what's going on, it appears. Because Joe Biden got on television and said, you cannot get the COVID when you get the vaccine. He totally lied. And now people are getting it. Some people are dying from it. People are getting residual effects from it. The president lied. He didn't have to lie. He could have told people the truth. And if he would have told the truth, then people would have experienced the truth that he told. People wouldn't be shocked. They'd be like, okay, yeah, this is what we were looking at. But when you lie and people experience something very different than what the government is saying, ding, 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 the antennas go off. We've been free way too long to let people kind of thwart our freedom. So I said enough. Lisa Booth, go hard. Y'all need to follow her on social media. She's, am she's amazing. If you haven't known, she, she talks like this all the time. She's amazing. Up and coming star on Fox. I, I remember I spoke at an event. I spoke right after her. She's tr a tremendous speaker, a great person. I just like her all the way around. I, we need more young women to be bold and be out there and speaking the truth. Um, and I hope that she inspire a lot of other women to do the same. Uh, like and subscribe to the channel. Visit the Officer Tatum store where you get all the cool merch. This is one of my new merch. And then my wife got a merch store. SoKoreanStore.com. SoKoreanStore.com. C-O-R-I-N-N-E. I love y'all. See y'all on the next one. I'm out. Thank you.